his constant and continued submission and obedience to the master who provides us the ability for us to be faithful well proverbs 19:21 says many are the plans in a person's heart but it is the lord's purpose that prevails well we have to be faithful to god because he is faithful to us when you have faith you will be willing to suffer persecution and even death for christ's sake second thessalonians 1:4 rightly puts it therefore among god's churches we boast about your perseverance and faith in all the persecutions and trials that you are under undergoing well think about the ways that you can show your faith are there things that are getting in your way what areas of your life have you not given over to jesus through spending time in prayer why don't you ask god to make these things clear to you and why don't you ask help from him to soar up in wings of faith today because one day we are going to get that beautiful gift he's going to come with open arms and he's going to say to you well done faithful and good servant you have been faithful and i will give you in charge of many things come and share your master's happiness what a delight that day is going to be the last fruit that we are going to see today is temperance or you can call it a self control proverbs 25:28 says like a city whose walls are broken through is a person who lacks self control what a very meaningful verse this is this is one of the last of the fruit of the spirit but it's so very important because we need to say no to the fleshy lusts and desires self control gives us the power to say yes to the spirit and foster a beautiful bountiful harvest of spiritual fruit second corinthians 9:24 to 27 i'm paraphrasing it do you not know that in a race all the runners run but only one gets the prize run in such a way as to get the prize everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training they do it to get a crown that will not last but we do it to get a crown that will last forever therefore i do not run like someone running aimlessly i do not fight like a boxer beating the air no i have strike a blow to my body and make it my slave so that after i have preached to others i myself will not be disqualified for the prize truly we christians are running a race and god intends each one of us to be winners in order to win the most important key ingredient is temperance let us try to cultivate these fruit of the spirit in our lives and receive the blessings of god may god bless you this is esther